Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Desert Fight Cast Club. On today's episode, we're going to showcase the Hot Wheels Car Culture Team Transport Porsche 356A Outlaw. And it's riding along the backside of the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup. Man, I love this thing. I've been waiting for it for a good while. Uh, I saw it on eBay maybe about two or three months ago. And I just, I knew I had to have it. Uh, Fry's didn't have it. it. It's an older model, so it's a 2019. It sits on the back. So I knew I was never going to find it at the grocery store or Walmart or Target or whatever. So it was either going to be uh, through like OfferUp or eBay or maybe even Amazon. Amazon might have it, but... Um, once I saw this, I had to hop on it. Uh, let's go ahead and get a closer look at this bad boy. Holy moly, I can't wait to crack this thing open. Let's go. All righty, look at this thing. It's freaking awesome. I love the, the combi transport pickup concept. Never seen it like this. Definitely enjoying it. I'm a big combi fan ever since. Well, I don't know since when, really. Uh, I guess uh, early 90s, I had my first experience riding one. It was hot as heck. Didn't have AC. The engine was, everything was loud, super loud. But it was awesome. Felt like riding a little buggy. Okay, let's get rid of some of these things. And let's put it on the rotisserie. See what it looks like a little bit closer here. And man, look at it. That is super cool. Uh, we're looking at a we're looking at the 50, what are we? 56 to 58 year range. Uh 1500 Carrera GS model. Uh I think it was made specifically for the Lux version of the regular 356 Ace. Uh, this one came specifically with a larger engine. I think it was boasting a 1.5 liter flat four and pushing about 100, 110 plus horsepower and right around under 90 foot pounds of torque. And I mean, this thing was a monster back then. It was pretty lightweight. You can order it with the aluminum body panels. I don't think it was the whole uh, body that you could order it, but at least some of the body panels, you could get aluminum. You can get, you know, reduce the weight. And uh, with that weight savings came added speed. But wow, this looks awesome on the rotisserie. And it? I don't know. Let's put it on top and see what that looks like. Oh, dude. Rolling hard. Let's get that autofocus to stick. Dang. I've always loved these cars. The um the carbon gear is I guess kind of bears a resemblance to the 356s. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. I mean Carbon Gear is a Volkswagen, Porsche. It's sitting on top of a Volkswagen, and I guess they're both German from the same era. So who knows? I don't know. All right, let's see if we can get an even closer shot. The cinematic mode on the iPhone kind of, kind of sucks sometimes. So this will give us a better understanding of some of the finer details. I love the tires on the Zings are Firestones on the 356 and the Combis are unbranded. But you can see both have the Momo uh, decals on it, Momo library vehicles. I suppose. And the Porsche itself has a sweet little cutout there. I'm not sure if it's for the exhaust or, oh, well, no, this is rear, rear drive. Maybe it's for the fuel cell in the front. I think you can get this with a larger fuel cell so that you can, you know, crank out a little, a little more uh, lap time out there, you know, get those. What was the top speed on this one? Uh, I think it was 125 miles per hour. So if you have the larger fuel tank, you can definitely go out there a little longer or a little harder. And man, look at this thing. The accents up front, the golden straps 
What are those supposed to be, leather? I'm not sure. I would suppose so. And the interior, uh, not sure you can really get a good look at it, but it looks pretty sweet. <clears throat> Hope you guys like it. I know I do. This is probably going straight to the top of my favorite. Top five for sure. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you all later.